Hello guys, in the last few videos I noticed that the, the lighting wasn't great in the videos, especially in the close up shots. So today I'm going to try and add a few lights to the camera stand here. Now these are some 3 euro lights, they're USB lights that I got in Ikea. And I'm basically just going to try and attach uh, all four of them behind the camera here so that I can adjust them to... Uh, make sure that the lighting on whatever I'm trying to film is much better and with any look that should make it a bit clearer a bit easier to see uh, the different bits of the tractors or the different electronics that I'm working on at the time to mount the lights I'm just going to use this bit of off cut uh, FR4 and um, I'm going to drill a hole through it here and here so that I can tighten it on with this uh, this nut here which is actually the nut for adjusting the camera, uh, the angle of the camera, I suppose. Um, I'm going to use that nut to fix it on there, and I'm going to have to to cut it down here because I need access to this. I really need this uh, hard plastic around the USB connection here uh, to be solidly fixed to the camera stand, so that I can move the the little flexible uh, lead on the light here. If uh, if I was to remove this plastic altogether and just connect here, and the, the light would it'd be very hard to get it to uh, fix in position. So what I'm going to do is drill a few holes through the USB connector here, and uh, then fix that to the FR4 board. It should be pretty solid. I don't think there'll be any problem drilling through the USB because there's basically nothing in this. I think the you have four pins in your USB here. I'm pretty sure it's uh, ground on one side, positive on the other, and D minus and D plus in the middle. So I would imagine that there's just f uh, two wires coming down here and going to the board at some point. So there's probably very little on this end of the of the uh, USB connector. But I'll drill a few holes through, and we'll see if we uh, if we damage anything. I'm pretty sure any of the electronics will be up here with the LED. They've already printed a PCB to mount the LED on, so it seems highly unlikely that they would mount the LED here and then mount the resistor down here, down on the other end. It's much more likely that they would mount the LED and the resistor on one PCB and cut down on their manufacturing costs. Here's the first part done. I have it mounted on the tripod here. Now I want to add one of these lights here, one of them on the opposite side there, and two up here. Now I've added the mounting holes for the different uh, lights and I've drilled holes in this side too. So now I need to remove part of the case of the USB connection here so that I can solder to the pins that are on the USB here. And also we need to measure what uh, what currents are required to light these LEDs so that we can get the proper power supply. Okay, so I cut the cover off the USB here. Now, on the back of this, it says that um, it says that the power rating for this is 0 0.3 watts at 5 volts. So, power is voltage by current. So the current we need is 60 milliamps per LED. So, my plan is to use an old uh, mobile phone charger as the power source. This one has 4.9 volts at plus 700 milliamps. So this should be more than capable of powering our four LEDs without much trouble. So I'll uh, take apart this wire, get our two, uh, get our, our positive and negative, and we'll uh, we'll just measure the current on an LED to make sure that is what it says on the back of the back of the LED. I just measured the voltage of the mobile phone charger. Um, it says it's 4.9 volts, but without a load, we're up at 6 volts. So I'll measure it later when we have our LEDs on, and you should see that the voltage has dropped. So now I have the multimeter set to milliamps, and if we check the current here, we'll see that we are getting. 60 milliamps basically just like it said on the back of the USB connection so we'll hook up all four 
LEDs in parallel and we should be just getting uh, right about 240 milliamps ok so here's our lights all attached up so we'll just give it a wee test here make sure we haven't shorted anything out there's one Two, three, and F4. So clearly they're all working fine. So now I need to wire them all up in parallel and we can check the current of all four together. I've all four LEDs wired up now, so I have my multimeter ready here. I'm going to check the current and we are reading 200 and 230 milliamps it says there so we're well within the 700 milliamp range of our of our um, mobile phone charger so that should be no problem I'll just wire this up now and secure the cable here somewhere so that it doesn't just get pulled out too easily and that should be it should be able to uh, properly light anything that I'm trying to record from now on, any of the small things especially. Alright so here's an example without the lights. Zoom in the chip, a little bit hard to see the writing, it's not really that clear. Not too bad but it always seems to look better on the small screen here on the back of the camera than it does when I go to edit it. So hopefully when I plug in the lights here it'll look much better. So quite a bit of light now. If I zoom in, I think the writing on the writing on the chip is a little bit better. Obviously my camera skills aren't the best but uh, I think this should help things be a little bit clearer using the lights here. Should be less shadowing and hopefully in the editing the videos won't look so dark. Well that's all there is to my simple camera lighting rig. It uh, only cost 12 euros, the only expense was the 4 LEDs and they were 3 euros each. Everything else was just scraps that I had lying around. I think it's going to work pretty well. I'll be using it in the, any of the following videos so we'll get an idea if it's going to work or not. If it doesn't, we can always try something else, it's no big deal. So, that's all for this video. Thanks very much for watching.